Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the Oxford RP2 gloves available at Revzilla.com. Now the RP2 gloves from Oxford are going to be a bang for your buck option. Sub $100, they're going to be for you sport riders out there looking for a full gauntlet design that's going to also maximize protection with full leather construction. Now this isn't something that I'd recommend taking to the track for an aggressive track day, but for a spirited sport rider upgrading an older pair of gloves without breaking the bank, this is going to be an option for you to consider. Now, first and foremost with the sizing on the RP2s, these are going to be European in their fit. So for example, Dionese Alpine Stars, I'm a 2XL. I'm definitely going to be a 2XL in the RP2s as well. Sizes are going to range from a small up to a 2XL. And there's a variety of different colors, black, black, white, red, white, red, blue. So you can really fine tune the color that matches your style or your motorcycle. Now with the RP2s, again, this is going to be your entry level full gauntlet race glove from Oxford. You have hard knuckles. It's going to be a full cowhide leather backing to this. You're going to have full goat skin in the palm. Now if you want to take a step up, again, these are going to come in around the $80 price point. Consider stepping up to the RP1s. The RP1s are going to give you beefed up protection. They're going to increase Kevlar stitching. They're going to increase comfort. And they're going to be a nicer offering, again, if you are riding more aggressively, especially out there in a track situation. Now with the RP2s, you are looking at full leather construction. So when we're looking at the main body on this, you are going to have goat skin throughout the palm. And then if we flip it over, you are going to have cowhide working its way down. So let's start with the back and work our way through this. So on the back of this, again, full gauntlet, you are going to have localized perforation at the back of the hand. And you're also going to notice right at the wrist, there's a little bit of elastication worked in there, which really does a nice job of making the glove feel nice and articulated on your hand. Now you are going to have all the protection in the way of some padding worked underneath that leather. And then when you get down to the actual hard knuckles in this, carbon fiber knuckles, however, not a split knuckle design. It looks like it is. It's just there for appearances. So the one minor nitpick that I did have with this, the knuckles are a little bit uncomfortable. I would imagine that would ease up a little bit as the gloves break in, but right from first stepping them on, they do feel a little bit uncomfortable because that isn't a true split knuckle on the back of this. But you do get full carbon fiber protection. And as you work your way down, you do have those carbon fiber slider or carbon fiber sliders rather on the back of the fingers. And you are going to have accordion stretch working right at the back of your control finger. So as you're articulating those brake and those clutch levers, you are going to have added flexibility there. Now, as we flip this over, you are going to notice external box stitching on the fingertips. Really nice touch. This is something we would expect to see from a higher end race glove and Oxford is doing it in a glove that comes in again, sub $100. Now, you don't see any Kevlar stitching on this the way you would with the RP1s, but you still have Kevlar reinforcement panels at the palm, as well as working its way down in the reinforced outer stitching of the pinky. Remember, if you're going to go down to the impact, the pinky is really that first place where you're taking hit a slide. So there is going to be an external carbon fiber slider there, and they do reinforce it with external stitching, as well as an extra layer of leather, as well as that Kevlar reinforcement underneath. So there is a ton of protection baked into this particular piece. Now, as you work your way down into the palm, there is not going to be a palm slider here. And that would be my biggest, my biggest nitpick for not wanting to take this to the track. You do have palm padding and you do have scaphoid protection as far as a pad is concerned, but no real slider in the palm. You do have that reinforced Kevlar. And again, you are going to have that full goat skin construction, which is going to give you a really nice supple feel. As you work your way through the wrist on this, you do have a dual closure at the wrist. And I really like this. It's simple. It works. Nothing really that stands out as far as the competition goes, but it simply does the job. And I feel like the glove is really nice and secure on my hands. Again, with the RP2, this is for you riders out there that are looking to step up to something, but you don't necessarily want to break the bank around the $80 price point. There is a ton of protection baked into this as far as it being a solid sport full gauntlet design. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are rocking Oxford gloves. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, click the info button, read what other riders are digging about the Oxford gloves they're rocking on their ride. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate, get us on the phone, give us a call 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Oxford RP2 gloves. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>